10,000 versus Lululemon. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down two of these companies' most popular and what I would call versatile shorts. We have the 10,000 interval short and the Lululemon pace breaker short. Both of these shorts are marketed to be kind of like that all-in-one style of short. So we're gonna talk about where each short performs the best, in my opinion, and we'll talk about some sizing and durability thoughts I have with each model because I have worn both of these shorts for more than like three or four years now, so I have a really good idea of how they perform. But with that all being said, let's go ahead and dive into our first section. Our first section is which short is best for lifting and CrossFit. So if you're looking for a pair of these shorts for primarily barbell training, tackling CrossFit workouts, whatever it might be in the gym, which should you go with? So admittedly, both shorts will work really well. However, I do think the durability of one of these models is actually a little bit better. And so that being said, my top short is going to be the interval short. And that's because it's just so dang consistent and the shell is a bit more durable than the pace breaker. The pace breaker short will work for the style of activity, but in pace breaker shorts, you're gonna get a lighter shell that's a bit more, I would say not as thick and abrasion resistant. And with the overall liner, if you go with the liner option, it's a much more like breathable mesh, which is really comfortable, but I have blown out the crotch in two pace breaker shorts during squats before. So I'm always like, Ugh, I'll just go for the interval short because I haven't had a liner bolt out in them yet. And they are pretty consistent across the board. So if you are looking into a short for lifting and CrossFit, check out the interval short, the four way stretch shell and the overall construction of this model, I think is just a bit more durable when it comes to like abrasion resistance and being up for all the tasks that pretty much you could throw at them in like a CrossFit workout or if you're training heavy, et cetera, cause they stretch so well, they move really well so that would be my suggestion for lifting and crossfit now let's dive in to our next section our next section is which short is best for versatile training so let's say you're tackling sessions with like plyometrics more agility work your indoors your outdoors you need a short for tackling a bit of everything and like your more athletic focused work so both of these shorts i think will work and for slightly different reasons the pace breaker short feels very much like wispy and lightweight on the body. If you're training outdoors in very hot environments, I like the pace breaker a lot. It breathes really well. And with that slightly lighter inner liner, if you do go with the compression liner option, this short should feel very breathable across the board, even if you're training in super hot sweatings. Plus this short does have some sweat wicking tech and a four way stretch shell. The interval short also works really well. It has a bit more of like what I would call a structure to it compared to the pace breaker. It feels a bit more like I would and say stable in regard to limiting your mobility, but it does have a slightly more heavy feel to it compared to the pace breaker. So the interval short, I think is gonna be your best bet if you want something that's gonna last a longer duration. And if you train with your phone, for example, in your pocket, I do think that the interval shorts zip pocket is a bit more secure than the pace breaker short. So that being said, honestly, you can go with either short and I think they will work. If you train primarily outdoors in hotter environments, the pace breaker is a really good option to look into. And if you're somebody who is indoors, outdoors, and you want something to just be really good at kind of everything with really good durability, the interval short, you really can't go wrong with. Our next performance section is which short is best for running. So do note, if you are doing like longer distance runs or you are a race focused athlete, you are definitely gonna wanna look into more specific running shorts for your needs from either company. So that being said though, if you're like myself and you're tackling an adequate mileage every week and doing sessions that consist of like two to six miles at a time, both of these shorts will work. And that's kind of like where I wanna to speak to, where the context of how I'm using these shorts and where I think they're gonna be the best. So the pace breaker short, I think is a good option if you are training outdoors and you're not bringing your phone. However, that phone aspect is why they are not my actual preferred or favorite for my style of running. The interval short, I think is the better call for my context because of that zip pocket that I mentioned in the previous section. This short locks down the phone a lot better. This short does have a zip pocket for phones. However, the short is just so light that it ends up like kind of just flopping around while you're running. In the interval short, you have much less of that and there's adequate pocket room for putting your keys and your phone in it. So I really do like this short for my context of running, especially when I'm training outdoors and I wanna bring my phone. But that all being said, both shorts will work, but if you're like myself and you bring your phone with you, I would say go interval short for that one. Our final performance section is which is the best short for daily wear? Basically, which is the most comfortable? So that being said, I do wanna break this into like linerless versus liner options to help you contextualize which short is best. So both shorts and their linerless options are really comfortable, but what I would say is this, with the Lululemon's construction on the posterior portion of the shorts, we have a bit of like a see-through layer here. So you are gonna have to wear something underneath the Lululemon linerless option. If you want to just wear it around for lounging or going out and about on your daily basis, do not run 
into the same mistake that I did with the short, please, because then someone's gonna tell you that, hey, I can see your butt cheeks. So that being said, if you're going linerless, the interval short is definitely the call and it's wicked comfortable. But the pace breaker short again too is really comfortable. You're just gonna have to wear something underneath if you are going linerless. Now, let's say you wanna wear one of these shorts for daily wear and you want the liner in it. So if you do wanna go tackle some casual training, which is the best option? I would say go pace breaker and that's because I like how lightweight that liner is. It's not the best for heavy training, CrossFit, or serious lifting, but when it comes to lounging around, the breathability of this liner and the stretch to it is super comfortable, and it never feels like overly tight. Like I'm sure everybody knows what it's like to wear like a compression liner for way too long that's way too tight, and especially if you're just sitting around and chilling and whatever, it's just, it just gets very uncomfortable. So I would say go pace breaker if you're just planning on lounging around in your shorts and you want the liner in them. The interval short will work, just note that you might have a bit more compression throughout in this model's liner. All right, so now let's talk on durability of each of these shorts. So out of the gate, I do think both of these shorts will last you a while, especially if you clean them properly and take care of them. But there are a couple of areas on each short that I think you might run into durability issues with when you wear these for longer periods. So I'm talking like a year plus of wear. So in the pace breaker, where I run into durability the most is always with the liner. Like I will always blow out my liner in my pace breaker shorts and it's so frustrating, but at the same time, like they last a while. However, that's always the area on this short that breaks down first and it's like, Okay, if they're lasting for more than a year, sure, that's fine, but it is something to consider nonetheless. In the interval short, I have never had an issue with the liner. However, what happens in this short is after a bunch of washes and a bunch of wear, the waistband actually kind of starts to lose its shape a little bit. So as you can see, like my waistband is a little bit bunched up and like the internal material is starting to fold over a little bit. It's not the biggest deal, but it doesn't fit as true or lay as true around the waist for that matter. After a longer period of time, I think this pair of shorts is actually like a year and a half old too years so truthfully like that's pretty dang good for a pair of shorts but what i would say though is in both of these models if you invest in them to make them go the distance in regard to durability try to wash them on delicates with cold water and then let them air dry i know it's like a lot of extra steps especially for dudes like myself who are very lazy but if you do this you will get a lot more out of your shorts and they should last you a lot longer so when it comes to price, both of these shorts are pretty comparable. If you look into the linered options of the pace breaker and the interval short, you can expect to pay $68 USD. Now, if you're going linerless, for the interval short, you're gonna pay $64 USD, and then for the pace breaker, it's still $68 USD. Like, it, it's so annoying. Like, you have less material in that short. Why are you still charging the same thing, Lululemon? makes no sense. Um, but that being said, if you go liner, really the price points are super comparable. If you go linerless, I would say go interval short because you'll save a little bit of money and you can wear them without a liner or anything underneath on a more casual basis. And people aren't gonna be like, hey, like I can see your butt. So when it comes to sizing in these shorts, I'm gonna put all of my dimensions up here on the screen, and then I'll do a little bit of a demo model of both of these shorts. I wear a medium in both of these, and you can look at my dimensions to hopefully get an idea and some context as to how this pair of shorts are gonna fit for you, but let's go ahead and check those out. So in this example, I am rocking the interval short on the left, the pace breaker on the right, and this is a medium seven inch model with the liner included. I love liner in my shorts. Very rarely do I actually train with the linerless option. So this is how they fit for my dimensions. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of 10,000 versus Lululemon and looking at the pace breaker and interval short. If you have any questions about either of these shorts and how you can better contextualize how they can play into your training and what's gonna be best basically for your needs, hit me in the comments below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, guys, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel, peace.